Hello, cadets. So you want to learn how to read, do you? Well, today we got a lesson known as VT Royal 1, how to do collabs. Let's get started. So you want to learn how to collab, yes? Well, now, everybody wants to be grow stronger. Everyone wants to be a better VTuber. For you to overall become a better and stronger VTuber, our collaborations are important, but don't expect them right away. First, let's try to break this down. How do you get a feel oh, to get a uh, collab? So in other words, what you need to do to start it. We will earn the chance to get the collabs. You gotta earn the right to have collabs. It's not just straight up thrown to you on a silver platter. As a matter of fact, a lot of these collabs can end up backfiring, especially if your career's not big enough or you don't have enough connections for the collabs to work. You need connections in the industry for live streams to happen. All right? Simple enough. Metal. For collaboration to work, you need a career. This means it falls upon the VTuber to work on their career, to find a purpose and goal, while obviously following up on it to the best of their abilities. Give this over about a year and I would have to dare say four months. So it's likely 16 months of an online career, at the least. At the most, I would have to say at least maybe a year and six months. So in other words, 18 months at the most, at the least 16. It's your job to overall work on your career and try to get a positive image. Well, once you achieve that, and always... May I remind you, VTubers always fall under fire. It's because, obviously, people are the way they are. And they can't help themselves in that regard. And they're quite predictable. All their actions are quite predictable. YouTube can obviously be ready for this uh, predictable moments. These attackers are known as normies. Uh, normies are the absolute worst. Never, never talk to normies. Never engage them. Monitor them and stay away from them. Now, obviously. Back to the main lesson at hand. It's your job to build a career. First, you build a big positive career over the span of 14 to 18 months. And then, obviously... You will all get a positive feel in the community. They will recognize you. They will start to notice you. They will start to look at your content and they would go like, wow, you know, this person's pretty good. I like the feel of them. I like the way they handle their content. Or maybe they have, or maybe you have a couple of people that handle your content with you, such as my brother. Or obviously, I'm breaking the fourth wall again. There's two other people from behind the scenes that voice certain models. But I'll try to stop the fourth wall breaking here. Right now, I want to mention that it's always very positive and effective of a VTuber to gain a big career online. The career is important. And the future and state of a uh, career must be taken care of. Much like a precious little baby child, it must be taken care of with great love, affection, attention, and cute detail, design, art direction, and the overall art and presentation. Every YouTuber has a different art style, a different presentation, a different act, a different feel, different design, different all around. It really falls onto the VTuber to own up for each and every one of these. Also, oh, it doesn't hurt to have a loot joke every once in a while. It's just how the scene works. It brings in all the boys into the yard and even the girls. I, I, just how it works. But despite all that, 
Let's continue. Now, under the mansion, in the second part, please, too. You've got a good career on your hands. Now, do you contact a VTuber? Or what happens if a VTuber or streamer contacts you? Well, let's start out with the biggest what if. What if the streamer contacts you? What do you do? Let's just say a VTuber ends up contacting you and asks you kindly, Hi, how are you? I've noticed your content. You're pretty good. Uh, can we have a collab sometime? What would be the perfect time and place for our collab? This is where it falls all unknown time zones in your current location. In the current location. But you don't merely start talking like that on Twitter slash S. This is where you have to have a online in the platform such as Discord, a personal Discord that is protected and private, where you can send them the information, where they can send a friend request. And now, well, all this mention, and you sent them the friend request to your personal information, such as Discord or maybe Skype. I would highly suggest Discord as what a lot of VTubers use. The Skype is Skyping. In that regard. But despite all this, in other words, it's seriously outdated. Um, when it comes to you, oh, finally sitting in this there, and y'all start talking. You work out the details of your time zones and your schedules where you two can meet somewhere in the middle. You know? Like right here in the middle. It's very important to do so. To meet in the middle. And come to an understanding. And even that of an overall old feel of a conversation or just a whole live stream between the two of you will be very, very important. All right. Now you got this. You have a time schedule set with this streamer that ended up contacting you. Very important. You show up on time. When they say, hey, it's time for such and such, which my special guest to be shown, you show up. You do not show them up either. You show up to the live stream, and even more so, you do your darkness to lit up for what they have made for you. And obviously, what y'all want to talk about and an overall do. Very important with this. If the streamer contacts you, you and that streamer work together to live up for their act and their ideas and their program, how they want it done. But let's just say, all right, you contacted the VTuber. Maybe you're the big one that contacted a small one. Or maybe one on the same level. This is where the situation is different. Let's just say you're on the same level in the same year, and you are both just starting out. Well, now, or this falls on you two are playing off of each other in an act and a raw feeling of a collab that will benefit the both of you. Now, these things are supposed to benefit both VTubers. As the bigger ones, when they contact you, it not only benefits them, but it benefits you greatly. You must be willing to work with the bigger ones to become even bigger yourself. You must play by the bigger ones' rules. So, obviously, you don't, uh, well, end up hurting their image and yours. Now, if you're both in the middle of the e situation or on the same par or same level, it's very important for y'all to work on the same level and feel for each other to have more of a collaboration and an effective one as it'll end up benefiting you both. But what if you're the bigger VTuber, right? And you contact the small VTuber 
it falls under the same criteria, the bigger VTuber contacts you. Except you're in charge this time. You make the app. You make the shit. You make the overall, all, oh, you know, content. And they have to follow your role. It's very important to do it that way. As it not only helps them, but it helps you in that regard. In VTuber eating clouds, the main reason is to get a more popular and effective feel. But how do you contact VTubers? Or how do you VTubers contact you? This is where you literally need to put a post on Twitter slash X saying, The green light is open. Streamer clouds are allowed. Now you can go with a specific gender, or are you just feel like, I collab with anyone as long as they're willing to work with, you know, obviously me and for our benefit. This literally means you need to make a green light post saying I am ready for streamer collabs. It's how the system works. You have know you're ready for streamer collabs by posting the green light. Do something like a police slide but make it green. And make it on to the point. You literally have to make it where, like, yes, I am serious. The green light is on. Streaming it is ready. I'm ready to collab stream. Now, there's another type of collab called artist collabs. Artist collabs are more like paying an artist to collab with you to make a new art model or background or some type of design of art, as is very important. For artist clans as well, a lot of artists will contact you at awkward times because they're a part of different parts of the world. It's up to you to mention, oh, a certain time schedule for obviously artists to contact you and make it quite clear that, oh, like, it's a certain amount of time, you know, like, it's either like supper or dinner, breakfast or dinner or lunch, or maybe I'm sleeping. This is obviously keeping artists up to date with like your uh, habits and overall feels as a VTuber. As yes. Everyone has a wife, everyone has a future, everyone has an art style, and anyone you get a collab. But you must be willing to build up your career and then and obviously wait. Be contacted, or maybe you're bold enough to contact one of them. But here's the thing. A lot of VTubers don't want collabs. There is one known as Kyle Mooney. She doesn't do collaborations. She is strictly a gamer VTuber, and she's off on her own. And even more so, rightfully so. She's very saying that, obviously... Yeah, a lot of things lately, but overall, never be a Kyle Mooney. As a VTuber, it's your job to constantly widescreen and create content of any way, shape, or form, building an image, building bridges and connections, obviously, then getting live streams, and then and following the rules. And boundaries of that VTuber. Every VTuber has different rules and boundaries. There is a core set default rules as VTubers. Rather, you're an indie or that of a company affiliated VTuber, you must be willing to work with them on this regard for collabs for your health and your future. And theirs as well. It's always very important for VTubers to work together. And artists who work together to obviously pay off their future endeavors. Before I go, my brothers let me know that the ETC shop will instead, or uh, VTuber shop will be a uh, goal will be removed very soon and placed with a different one, as we're just gonna overall fund them ourselves. After we get a certain <laughs> account in place, to hopefully see if this type of an account will work, meaning that certain VTuber models 
and our designs of clothes will be available on ETC sometime in the month of October. That's right. In the month of October, the first ETC shop of V-Royd uh, original artworks and designs, props, and VTuber models will be available on ETC for purchase. All props, depending on what type of prop it is, it is going to go somewhere around on $10 for non-color. For color detail models, they're going to be obviously $20. But if you want a custom art detail the prop uh, uh, by us, you will literally have to pay a little bit extra if you want a custom paint job for the prop. And it's going to end up costing you at least about 5 or $10 extra. Not too much, depending on the type of color palette you want and how intricate it's going to be. There will also be default VTuber models from v -Royd for purchase on that of the TC shop. Three of them is gonna be a three-way package of Chanel, Paul and Salta, and Dinzi. Each one of these models are where it gonna be $25 a piece. And triple package, you will get the three female Van Vantel models from Final Fantasy VII for $75 US. And yes, Underneath the outfit will be a pair of women nipples. Uh, in a way. But even more so for those that can't help themselves. I will mention that this tissy shop will also have clothes designs. For the V-Roy models. Purely made by the commander or aided by the commander for sale. And each one of the eggs outfits, let's just say you want to go with a full flinch outfit. And this outfit's going to end up uh, being somewhere around $15 US. But if you want to go for, like, I don't know, maybe just a pair of pants or a jacket or an undershirt or maybe just a bodysuit. Uh, this is just gonna fall shy under or that of eight dollars US, a real reasonable price for a reasonable outfit. We all want to benefit the artist scene, but there's one more item that will be there for you custom backgrounds made by the commander and all of us here. You are just going to be making custom backgrounds. You've seen the backgrounds that we have been making over time. And they're all really good. My bedroom is very a 100% original custom background. Made by my brother. And uh, obviously suggested by the woman behind me. Um... You, uh, I wrote good for a flaw again. But, yes, this means in the month of October, the Tissy Shop will be available. And you know, all donations for the ETC Shop will remain until the shop is up and running. If you want to donate right here and now, we would highly appreciate it. Until then... I've been I was trained. This has been VTuber 101, and, and obviously, also, allow me to introduce myself earlier. Uh, thank you for joining me on this live stream. Join the commander later on, as he's going to be playing Power World, trying to give the rest of the training manuals he needs to unlock all the default items in that of Power World. He just hit level 55 no less than 48 hours ago. Now all he has to do is unlock all the rest of the items 
and then he will do the retrospective. He doesn't have a problem. It would be nice, it's nice if he did, but he's not going to. So, very much so. I highly, highly would love it if you overall support my brother or on this live stream. Thank you for joining me for VTuber 101. This will be ported over to the playlist within the hour on YouTube of VTuber Y1's lessons. After it's being edited into two segments, my introduction and that obviously of VTuber 101, how to get collabs. Thank you so much. I love all of you. Be good little be all cadets. And the minds. Mama Iris is going to have to psychoanalyze all of you and make you regret all of your actions for it. Bye bye. Bye bye. to me, to me. Anari.